Allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is Ho. Oh, 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 City. What's up, Denver? It's your boy, B. We in the mountains, man. It's Rob. What's going on? Goddamn, my name's Mike. What's up, y'all? What's <laughs> <laughs> so fucking weak. And Big Banjo is going into his third year as head coach for the Denver Broncos. Mm -hmm. And he's tired of waiting on players like Drew Locke to develop. So he went ahead and traded for uh, Teddy Bridgewater to surround him with some really good playmakers on the offensive side of the ball, but really a very stout defense and some really elite players on the defensive side of the ball. Let's talk about some of their additions. And the cornerback room, they added Kyle Fuller, Ronald Darby, and obviously drafted Patrick Sertain. That's a really good cornerback room they got going, Fuck. got brewing in there. Like I said, they already traded for Teddy Bridgewater. They got offensive tackle Bobby Massey. Cortland Sutton's back, mm -hmm. which is big time for that wide receiving court. Let's talk about the draft. They got Patrick Sertain. They got Devontae, or Javante Williams at the running back position. Hopefully, he's going to start to take over a lot of the carries for Melvin Gordon as he transitions into his last year of the uh, of his contract in Denver, and hopefully he'll just take the role and run with it for the rest of his career. Some of the big subtractions that they had, Juwan James got hurt, uh, not even with the team at the time, so they let it, they wound up letting him go, got picked up by Baltimore. Uh, Lindsey's gone. Lindsey's gone. That's a big loss for this team. He's a hometown kid, scat back, fast guy, but they replaced him with Javante Williams. Undrafted star. Too. Undrafted star, mm -hmm. right from hometown. Love and they lost A.J. Boye as well, who they mm -hmm. already, I mean, who I just told you they replaced with Kyle Fuller, Darby, yeah, and Patrick yeah. Sertain. Yeah, and while they didn't get Aaron Rodgers, they did get Teddy Bridgewater. And that's why Vegas has their over-under set at 8.5 instead of some like 11.5 and, a half. and Teddy Bridgewater is a guy who won't be the reason they lose games. We saw him go undefeated when he was with the Saints, winning all four of those games when Drew Brees was out because he had guys like Michael Thomas and Alvin Kamara and had people around him who would be able to take the ball and get those yak and get those yards after the catch. And with the right talent around him, he can be very productive. And in Denver, I see a huge breakout year coming for Jerry Judy, who I think will already be one of the best route runners in football. He plants that one foot, and he is gone. Makes great moves on the route, makes great moves after the catch. They have a solid running back duo, as you mentioned, with Melvin Gordon and Javante Williams. They have a decent O-line, so there shouldn't be any problems there. But it's on the defensive side of the ball where this team gets really exciting. I'm going to say this. Draft the Denver Broncos defense in fantasy football, and you can thank me later. This team is stacked with stars up and down the lineup. They're not getting the respect they deserve because they weren't a top-tier defensive unit last year, but they had the best safety tandem in football. We can finally, finally see what Von Miller and Bradley Chubb are capable of with both of them playing in the lineup. And if you look at their team outlook on prosportsoutlook.com, it is green player up and down the starting lineup. Like they have elite players all over the ball. They're going to be making plays. They're going to be creating turnovers. And they're going to win you your fantasy league if you take them in defense. That's all I'm saying. That's no, really good. Go ahead, Brian. That secondary is fucking insane, bro. Their fourth best corner is Ronald Darby. Their fifth best corner is Michael Ojemudia, who started most, almost all of last year. He's a former third-round pick from last year as well. Like Rob said, they got elite players throughout their whole defense at every single level of the ball. This defense is one of the most stacked defenses I've ever seen, at least on paper. Defense wins championships at the end of the day, man. They got Teddy Bridgewater. They can win some games. Not that bad of a team at all. But, hey, y'all know why I'm here. I'm trying to make y'all some money. You're going to make money, man. So right. what did we talk about earlier, right? We talked about this new cat came into town, Javante Williams. Okay. We also talked about how Melvin Gordon's in the last year of his contract. And y'all know what I say. The tread on them damn tires. They're going to run Melvin Gordon to the ground. If he stays healthy the whole year, they're going to run him to the ground. They're going to say, bro, go do your thing. They want to keep Javante Williams for the future. Yeah. This team right now, they got Teddy, like we said. He might just be a one-year guy. Who knows? Regardless, you want to have that good back for the future. So I'm going to go ahead and tell y'all, Javante Williams, I think he's going to be a good player for his career. Not saying that, but we're going to go his under 775 rushing yards. You got Melvin Gordon at the one. You got Mike Boone coming in at the third string, who's a very they, solid backup guy. To they, be honest. they paid him, too. Like, hey, we're paying you to get some carries, so he's going to get some touches, too. There you go. Javante Williams is getting the, probably the least amount of money on the whole entire running back tandem, then, if you think about it. So they, they don't want to run mean, that's him. That's just the facts. You don't want to run him to the dirt. You really don't want to do that. And on top of that, like we talked about, they have a really stout receiving core, so I can see them being a little more in the passing game, not super big on the running game. We're going to go under 
775 yards. I like that bet a lot. Make sure to use some of these uh, money tips in your fantasy league. A lot of people were taking Javante Williams kind of early, and it's not early, but at a good spot for a running back. Mm -hmm. And he could not get that many carries this year. They might not come until way later on in the year or in case something happens to Melvin Gordon. So keep that in mind, especially with Mike Boone possibly getting some carries and a really good wide receiving core, as well as a good tight end and Noah fan. And that's the great thing about these videos is we're spitting knowledge about your team, about your fantasy team, and about your bets. So like, really, we're getting it at all angles. So that's the trifecta here, giving you the knowledge about the Broncos. We got the Detroit Lions next.